One of the biggest questions in life today is how do we treat cancer? The modern medical establishment doesn't want you to really be free to choose cancer treatment. They want you to listen to them and to follow their recommendations, which is either chemo, radiation, surgery, or a combination of the two or three. The cancer treatments in modern oncology are based on the theory, theory, that cancer is a genetic disorder. It's in your genes. And as such, it has nothing to do with the environment or pollution or heavy metals or your breathing or mineral deficiencies or how much alcohol you're drinking or how much pesticides you're exposed to. There, there's another theory, and it's really not a theory. It's based on physiology. It doesn't exclude the genes, but it looks at the principal pump of life, of health in the cells, which is totally dependent on oxygen. Cells can be quickly turned cancerous if they're deprived of oxygen. And there are many reasons we have deficiency of oxygen delivery to our cells. For instance, when we become acidic, which we do become for many reasons, our body is deprived of oxygen because we measure pH or acidity and alkalinity. Acidity is H plus, hydrogen ions, which are acidic. Alkalinity is OH. O is oxygen. So the more alkaline you are, the more oxygen. The faster you breathe, the more carbon dioxide you blow off and lower your oxygen levels go. The more toxic you are, the lower your oxygen levels go. And on and on. So there's a big case, and it's not just not me making it, for treating or thinking about cancer as a metabolic disease, which is totally different than thinking it's a genetic disease. Because if it's a genetic, then the only course is to smash the cancer with toxic chemicals, chemo, radiation, using the death principle, at high enough dosages to be lethal, cutting it out. Cutting out cancer doesn't change the condition of why the cancer came into existence. So many people, doctors, scientists, have been publishing for 50 years. Dr. Wahlberg, Nobel Prize winner, pretty much started the ball rolling, looking at the metabolic aspect of cancer. So even if you elect modern oncology and do some of these treatments, very toxic, it really behooves one to also look at the other side and to address that on a daily basis, to increase one's oxygen level, CO2 level, which in the blood, CO2 and bicarbonate are twin sisters. It makes sense to use iodine and magnesium and selenium and sulfur, things that will affect oxygen, affect metabolism. It's your choice. Everybody has to choose when they get sick what to do and what not to do. Having the right information, when there's so much information, is not easy. 
Imagine a person getting cancer and then starting their research when they're under the gun. Not easy. Not easy at all.